topic is shunt surgery to understand su shunt surgery we'll have to understand first again the anatomy this is liver this is portal vein portal vein is forming because of communication between the because of joining of smv and splenic vein this is spleen okay now there is another vein here along with the uh, adjacent to the portal venous structures this is ivc ivc is going behind the liver this is svc okay so this is ivc this is portal vein okay now this is portal circle this black one is the portal circulation here this blue one is the systemic circulation the normal portal circulation uh, pressure is 5 to 10 okay now the in portal hypertension there is more pressure in the portal system we want to drain this portal pressure into the systemic circulation okay so anywhere if there is a communication between the portal circulation and the systemic circulation it will uh, the portal excess of the portal blood will go into the systemic circulation okay if as this portal structure or the whole of the portal system is valveless so anywhere blood which is there in the portal system will go unidirectionally to the portal circulation okay so this type of flow will be a non selective shunt where complete migration of portal blood is there complete migration of portal blood okay i'll first enumerate the types of shunt first here this is a complete this is a non there are three types of shunts three types of shunts or three types of surgical shunts they are non selective shunts and the second one is selective shunt and the third one is partial shunts so if there is complete migration of the portal blood towards the systemic circulation then it is a non selective type of shunt if we can specify or we can uh, decompress only a specific site then it will be a selective shunt and if only a partial amount of the portal circulation is draining into the uh systemic circulation but it is a non selective type okay if in the non selective shunt is complete migration but if other than this complete migration if there is a partial migration then it will be a partial shunt and the selective will be only for a selective site okay so this non selective will be complete migration of portal blood partial will be partial migration of portal blood and this selective will be if only selected region is drained not the whole system is draining okay now this non selective shunt are various types okay i'll first uh, again draw, draw the diagram here we'll first discuss the non selective shunt
okay if there is a communication if uh, we are ligating whole of the portal vein and this portal vein is joining to the ivc then this will be a type of a portal systemic circulation where whole of the portal blood will be uh, going towards the uh you can say the systemic circulation if there is only a communication in between the uh, side to side communication between the portal vein and the ivc that also will be a type of a non selective shunt or if there is communication in between uh, mesenteric vein and ivc or portal vein and ivc is like this or so the portal cable or the mesentero cable okay that is also a type of non selective shunt and in case if uh, this is a renal vein here if we are doing a splenectomy and this splenic vein is going towards a renal vein okay and we are connecting then also this whole portal circulation blood can go into the renal vein so this also is a type of non selective shunt okay so these are the four important types of the non selective shunts non selective shunts first is x fistula okay also known as end to side porto cable shunt this is x fistula you can see here that this is the portal vein here the portal vein is ligated and here the whole of the portal vein is anastomosed to the ivc okay now the problem with x fistula is that there will be a very less blood supply to the liver and there is increased chances of liver ischemia this is obsolete but this but it is still asked in mcq that end to side porto cable shunt x fistula is end to side porto cable shunt okay which is a type of a non selective shunt now the second is side to side porto cable shunt sspcs okay this is very important as it is the most commonly performed surgical shunt okay this is the most commonly performed porto cable shunt or the most commonly performed surgical shunt and it is a shunt of choice surgical shunt of choice for refractory ascites but gre syndrome and we know occlusive disease okay it is the shunt of choice for refractory ascites but gre syndrome and we know occlusive disease now the third one is this one this is the third one it is interposition graft this can be of three types porto cable meso cable and meso renal and the fourth one is spleno renal or this is generally known as dsrs or uh, sorry the psrs or linton shunt psrs or linton shunt or psrs stands for proximal spleno renal shunt here what we are doing we are removing the spleen we are doing splenectomy and the splenic vein we are the splenic vein is getting anastomosed to the renal vein so whole of the portal blood is going through the splenic vein into this renal vein okay and through the renal vein it is coming to the ivc okay so this psrs is also a type of a non selective shunt so these all are the type of non selective shunt if we are doing in the non selective shunt if we are doing 
uh, we are putting a graft and the size of the graft is less than 10 millimeter. Okay. So then that complete shunt will become a partial shunt. Okay. So some blood will flow into the portal circulation also and some blood will flow through the graft into the systemic circulation also. So the partial shunt is basically any non-selective shunt with a diameter of less than 10 millimeter. Okay, so this is regarding the partial shunt. Now coming to the another important topic that is a selective shunt. Okay. Selective shunt are we have two selective shunts. First is the DSRS, also known as Warren's shunt, and the second one is the Inokuchi shunt. These two are the selective shunts. Okay, so if you will understand these shunts, then it will be very easy to remember. Okay, so in DSRS, what we are doing. This is a diagram showing DSRS. We have divided the splenic vein. We have ligated the splenic vein. Now there is another end of the splenic vein, okay, which is going towards the spleen. Now this end we are anastomosing with the renal vein. What is happening? Whole of the portal circulation is this side, and only the spleen is getting decompensated to the renal vein. Okay, so the splenomegaly and the problems related with the splenomegaly will be settled. Okay, so this in DSRS only the splenic side is decongested. Okay, whole of the splenic vein is uh, you can say first dissected, this side is divided and this side is taken down and anastomosed with the renal vein as shown here. Okay. Now, what is the Inokuchi shunt? Inokuchi shunt is basically this uh, the left gastric vein branches. Okay. This uh, GE junction varices is because of the portosystemic communication in between the left gastric vein and the azygous vein. Okay. Now, to decompress esophagogastric varices, this left gastric vein is joined to the IVC through a graft and this way we will be able to reduce the portal pressure especially from only the veins which are going towards the EG junction or the esophagogastric junction thus decreasing the chances of esophagogastric variceal bleed. Okay. So, in Inokuchi shunt only the GE junction is decompressed. And it is a uh, anastomosis between. It is an anastomosis between coronary vein and IVC, also known as coronary cable shunt. And this is through an interposition graft. This is a very difficult question. Coronary, which among the following is a coronary cable shunt? Okay, it is Inokuchi shunt. Coronary cable shunt is a selective shunt. Okay. And uh, second one is DSRS or a Warren shunt. Now, this is also confusing. PSRS is a non selective shunt, whereas DSRS is a selective shunt. Okay, this is important. Now, another type of shunt is a peritoneo venous shunt. Peritoneo venous shunts. What are the names? These are Cleveen, Denver, and Minnesota. So, these three are the named peritoneo venous shunts and they are used in refractory ascites. Okay, what we are doing here? 
through the abdomen if there is ascites and the catheter is placed with a unidirectional flow and this catheter is placed in the IJV okay so right IJV is the preferred is preferred over SVC second preferred one is SVC whereas right IJV is the preferred one over SVC okay so this is regarding the peritoneal venations and the other